This is a quick little trick that you can use to edit CSS in a page without having to go into the code to actually edit the code inside the page. Well, sort of. Let me explain. Go to My Profile uh, in your practice course. Select Settings. Scroll down till you find your name uh, written in the content. Right click on your name and select Inspect. Now this works in most browsers, so you should have an ins Inspect as an option. When you select Inspect, it automatically opens up a panel on the right hand side. Now you'll see up here in the code it has heading style 3, H3, Chris Richter. All I need to do is go down to element style in here and I can change CSS settings from here. So I can type in color and this gives us some hints as well, which is really nice. And I could put in here red. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice it changes on the left. Now if I go down and click save and display, those changes I made actually get saved in the content. So you may find that really useful. I'll show you a, a different one. Let's add something else to it. Let's go settings, scroll down to our content. We might just change this one here. So the things you've achieved, we right click uh, on the content that we want to change, select inspect, make sure that we've actually selected the content we're expecting to change. Heading four, which is five things you have achieved. Click down here into element style and we could do something like uh, background color um, and we could put in there a background color. Now notice it's applied that background color to the text. That's nice. What if we want to change that color because it's not the right color? We can actually click on the little color icon, choose a color here or we can choose a color out of the content on this side. So in this case, I'm going to make it blue and I'm going to click in again on the right and add in color, which is the text color and make that white. And because that doesn't look all that nice with that, how tight it is, I'm also going to add padding of, let's say 5px, which is in pixels. And that gives a little bit of extra padding and space around that. So you can see I'm already adding a bit of flavor and color to the page. Once we click save, we'll scroll down to the bottom, save and display. Those changes I made on the right are now implemented in the content and saved in the content as well.